Hey folks, Dr. McCarthy here, uh, author of the book, The McCarthy Method. Um, in this book, we talk about a bunch of different things that you can do to make yourself a healthier person. And in this video, I'm going to give you a prelude of what's to come. We're going to give a couple of short snippets and different segments and talk about things that you need to do to make yourself a healthier person. Um, if you stay with us to the end, I'm going to give you a special link where you can get some more information about the book and some other uh, tidbits that we'll give out to you. One of the things that we see during these, these times now that we're dealing with this virus crisis is um, everyone keeps using the word uncertain. And that's, you know, that's a little troubling to me. It's unsettling. And what I'm going to give you today and in our next couple of videos is more a message of certainty. What is certain? And what's just really profound is today in my uh, text message that we get um, from a good buddy of mine, Toby Williams, was uh, Psalm 56.3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56.3, and I came today. So, you know, if that's not a message of certainty, when I'm afraid, and there's lots of fear going around, there's fear because we don't know. There's just so many things that people don't know. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll encourage you to stay off of Facebook because everybody on Facebook is an expert, and everybody knows exactly what's going to happen. Don't worry about the things that you cannot control. We're going to talk about things that you can control. We're going to talk about things that are, that are certain, um, first, I want to let you know, we are open. We've been open this whole time, and we're following all kinds of uh, guidelines. You know, we're limiting the amount of people here in our office. We're limiting the, the, the spacing between patients. Uh, we're having patients come in at staggered times. We're cleaning everything in between patients. We're open, and we're going to continue to stay open. We are here to help you become a healthier person. That's really our goal. Um, one of the folks that I really follow for information is uh, a colleague of mine and, and a good friend of mine, Dr. Greg Murphy. And he not only is he a doctor, he's also in uh, the United States House of Representatives. And he represents a third district here in North Carolina. And he's just a calm, measured physician and a, a political leader. And, you know, I, I will be more than happy to put his link down below if you want to find someone that's uh, speaking the truth. But some of the things that we, he talks about here, in North Carolina, this is 87% of the folks who have died from this virus, 87% are over the age of 65. And the overwhelming majority of these folks have what's called comorbidities. And this is a, another buzzword that you've probably heard of, comorbidities. It means there was something else wrong with them. They had heart disease, they were obese, they had diabetes, they had other health problems that made them susceptible. They had weaker immune systems that made them more susceptible. So 87% of the folks who passed away are over the age of 65, and the overwhelming majority of them had other health issues. And then secondarily, uh, Dr. Murphy points this out, that over 50% of these folks, the, the, the folks over the ages of 65 that, that passed away, over 50% of them were in close quarters, meaning they were in like facilities and, and nursing homes. So, you know, we've got to keep this stuff in mind before we just are walking around in constant fear. We've got to look at facts and science. And this is where Dr. Murphy comes in. He does a wonderful job. Kudos to him. God bless you for what you're doing. What we're going to talk about is things that you could do to stay healthy while you're at home. And that's hard now. You know, I, I, my, my, my wife is home. Uh, my kids are home. School is closed for the rest of the school year here in North Carolina, probably most states. And, um, you know, it, it gets a little trying. But one of the things that we want to talk about are things that you can do uh, to positively impact your health. Now, I'm not talking about, hey, you know, do these things and you're not going to catch the virus. That's ludicrous. I would never say anything like that. What I'm saying is the healthier you are, the less chance you're going to have problems. So I'm going to give you tips on how you can become healthier. The very first thing, like we talked about with certainty, 
The very first thing is gratitude. And this is scientifically proven. If you can uh, fill your brain with things that you, are, uh, that you have much gratitude about, like my children and my wife, like uh, you know, following my Lord and my Savior, uh, I'm up at 5 a.m. every day doing my Bible study. You know, if you can find the things that you are grateful for and you can meditate on that and pray about that and think about that, your brain works better, your body works better, you become healthier. We'll delve into this more deeply. Um, one of the big things we see, and again, another, it's funny stuff. I read funny stuff on Facebook, just like the rest of you. Uh, one of the things is, you know, the way people are eating. It's not good. We go to the grocery store, and you can find all kinds of produce, but they're going to be out of crackers and chips and soda. And it's like, how much crap can you eat? So as you're sitting home plowing down the, the chips, you know, you're making yourself unhealthier, more obese, more fat, more inflamed. And so, you know, you got to stop that stuff. Go and get the produce. Netflix, man, they're at an all-time high. Um, everyone's watching Netflix. Everyone's binging. I don't even know really what that means. I can't imagine, like, sitting there watching hours and hours and hours. But when folks are sitting there watching Netflix, do you have a bowl of fruit? Or do you have a bowl of ice cream? <laughs> Do you have a bowl of potato chips? Think about that. Another, another thing here in, in North Carolina is the ABC stores are open. They're essential. The liquor stores are essential. So people are sitting home, slamming down the liquor, eating the ice cream and drinking the chips. Do you think that's making you healthier? Doubtful. You know? So watch what you're eating. In the book, we preach. You know, you've got to eat an anti-inflammatory diet. In here, we give you the keys. What should you be eating? What should you be avoiding? Um, exercise. Exercise. You know, exercise is great for brain function, and it's great to, to improve your immune system. So laying on the couch with your beer and chips, binging on Netflix for eight hours a day, not so good for your brain and your immune system, Getting outside and walking. Man, my dogs have never been walked as much. They are loving this uh, lockdown. They get walked all the time. And, you know, you just wiggle the leash and they go flying. So, you know, you've got to uh, get out and exercise and change your diet. Eat an anti-inflammatory diet. Um, fasting. Now is a great time to fast. My, my buddy Dr. Joe Alamo put up a post earlier today about fasting. Uh, and another post about water. Boy, get your water intake up, you know? Uh, five, six, seven, eight glasses of water a day throughout the course of the day. I wake up and do 32 ounces of water first thing in the morning. Great post from Dr. Olamo this morning. And fasting, you know, skip your breakfast and start eating healthful food at lunchtime. And eat in like an eight-hour window from, you know, noon to eight, something like that. It's great for your immune system. It's great to burn fat off of your body. It's great for your brain. It's also in the book. We talk about how to properly do that. Um, weeks ago, before this whole thing really kind of blew up, I talked about what I take from a supplement perspective. And again, you know, it's in the book. Um, we talked about the, uh, the oregano, the garlic, and the coconut extract. And I do this on a daily basis to, to not to prevent me from catching a virus. I do it to make me a healthier person. And the healthier you are, the less likely you are to catch bugs. Uh, if anyone wants more information on those supplements, I'll, I'll share it again with you for sure. Um, I, I want to urge you to, to you know, take this um, information and, and you know, digest it mentally. If you are sick, you know, go to your MD for sure. You know, that, that, that's what they're all about. But if you are not sick, what you should be doing is spending your time making yourself a healthier person rather than binging and eating crap. And, you know, we talk about it in the book, and I'll talk about it in upcoming videos as well. If you, um, you know, really truly want to get yourself healthier, I'm going to put a link to the book down underneath, and you can feel free to ask me questions in the comments section, and I'll answer anything I can. And then we're going to take little snippets out of the book 
over the course of the next few days, and I'll put up a new video every now and then. I will put it right here on my Facebook page, uh, Dr. McCarthy's Health Solutions, so you can read, um, you know, some good information, and you can watch some, you know, little short videos on simple things that you can do at home to make yourself a healthier person. You know, you can watch Netflix, eat something different, and drink lots of water. Take a couple of supplements and uh, make yourself a healthier person. So hopefully you found some value in this video. Any questions, ask down below. Please like the video, share the video. We want to make this um, you know, a, a, a widespread as we can so we can help folks become healthier during this time at home. I thank you. I will talk with you soon. God bless you.